So you want to scramble a three by three. You need to understand the notation um, that you're going to be shown and you may sometimes struggle with because um, you'll have upper moves, down, front, back, right, and left. And within that, if you do a right move, you push the piece away from you. And if you do a left move, you bring the left towards you, which can sometimes be confusing. But that's because they're all clockwise as you would look at them. So if you were to look at the right, doing it clockwise is pushing it away. And if you were to do the left, doing it clockwise is pushing it towards you as you hold it with the green at the front. Likewise, the top, a, a upper move would be turning it this way, whereas a down move will be turning it this way. Likewise, that is clockwise. And if you were to turn it to the yellow to look at you, that is clockwise. And the same with the front, which is front, that's clockwise, that is front inverse. Where's the back? That is back, and that is back inverse, because of course, as you turn it around, that is clockwise as you look at it from behind. But of course, we always solve the cube and scramble the cube with the white on the top and the green at the front. So let's just follow a solve through that I've put on the screen here. And this solve would be front two, upper two, left two, front two, down, upper, right two. Now we have our first inverse, you see it's got that little apostrophe, so that's inverse, that's upper inverse. We've got left two, upper inverse again. Left, back, upper inverse. Left, down two, upper inverse. Front, down two, left, upper inverse. And then, as we look at it, from the scramble, you can see that all the pieces are in the right place, and then Sometimes you check this is okay, check that this is fine, as, as to the, the um, illustration. And you can check all the sides if you wish. But I'm sure if this side and this side is correct, I guarantee the rest will also be correct. That is how you scramble a 3x3 three three 